Hi, I'm Teresa from Potomac Beads. Today we will create together my cup of pearls bracelet with check pearls and seed beads. So let's get them up and start working. So to start we will need Miyuki thread. We will be going quite many times through the 15 seed beads we will be using as well. So I chose instead of wildfire this thread so we don't have the issues with going uh, through them too many times. I'm using size 12 needle. You can start with 10 if it's easier for you and switch if you have difficulties to go through the beads. We'll be also working with check pearls. This is 8 mm size and then with 11 o seed beads as well. So uh, in my thread, oh, sorry, in my needle I have an arm span long piece of thread and I have four 11 o seed beads on and we will start with the double right angle weave stitch. So leave a tail like 15 centimeters so it's comfortable for you when you hide the knot when we are done. And like you have these four seed beads, go through them once more. And then finally, once more, just through the first one. And tie it up. And you will have the first right angle weave stitch piece. Now we will add four more 11 O's. So pick one go through the next 11 o pick another one do the same pick number three and then number four and step up through the first bead edit in this row so step up to here and this is our first piece and now we will add the pearl and we will repeat this step plus the pearl step as well and this will create the whole bracelet we will connect them and you will make as many as you need to reach the length of the bracelet you need so now let's do the pearl so now we will switch to the 15 o's so uh, add 6 15 o on your needle 6 then pick up one of your pearls and then pick up again 6 15 o's 6 and then go through this 11 o bead but from the other side then your thread is coming out and you should have something like this so that's first half now we need to get back to the pearl so while pulling the thread so your beadwork is nice and tight go through the first six seed beads the 15 o's pull tight and then go through the pearl And here we will pick six 15 holes, then immediately one 11 o, and then six 15 holes again. I will check, yes, so we have 13 beads in total, six 15 holes, one 11 o, six 15 holes. And go through the pearl again, but not here but we will go through the other side and the thread is coming out so like this and now we want to add 11 o's here close to the holes but we need to be exiting from the 15 o's so let's circle so go up through the 15 o's and the 11 o you just edit and get to the hole again 
so I just bend through the beads don't forget to pull pick up one 11 o and continue through the 15 o seed beads on the bottom and around the pearl through the 11 o here in the middle and yet again through the other 6 15 o's on the other side one more for me and I am at the hole again so I'm picking the last 11 o and I'm going up through the C six fifteenos again and finally to the eleven o here where we want to end and this is the whole part of the bracelet which we will repeat so now what I will do is add again this double right angle weave stitch part and then the pearl and then again and, the, and again so until I have a bracelet that is long enough to go along my wrist and there you can end but we want to spice things up so we will make three rows because more is always better right so now I will show you how to add the double right angle weave again and then you will continue on your own so now we are exiting from the 11 o so pick up four more 11 o's and we do the double right angle weave so I'm going back to the 11 o here from the other side so I have something like this so now I have five beads in a circle I'm going up through the first bead we just added picking up one 11 o going through the next 11 o picking up another 11 o going through another one in the circle picking up the last one because we already have the fourth one here going through the bead in the basic circle and that's it now I need to get here plus I also need to connect these two beads on the inside so skip skip this one and just pick your needle and go from this bead you are currently exiting to this one so basically you want to connect them here because the thread is missing there which will pull all the group together and then get up to here to the top to the tip actually and there you will repeat what we did with the pearl and then you will do this until you reach the length you need don't forget that we will add the clasp so for me I believe I should have nine in a row I will confirm later when I reach as much as I need and then I will catch you up so I reach the other end as I said I indeed used nine pearls so and that uh, you want to finish with the double right angle weave stitch part but now we need to get here to one of these 11 o's on the side doesn't matter which one so you need to return through the beadwork and what I'm doing is just going through the beads doesn't really matter through which ones as long as you hide the thread properly so I'm going down and here here to the 11 o so I will add a pearl here so it will be turned but it doesn't matter because it's a pearl so it's round so if it's 90 degrees it doesn't matter so put on like you would do normally after doing the double right angle weave put on six 15 o's 
then the pro, then six fifteenos again. And go through the 11 -0 here in the pearl, like from the pearl part. Now we need again get to the hole. So going through the six 15 -0s here on the side, and through the pearl, pull tight. Now we need to finish the other half again, so six 15 -0s, one 11 -0 and six more 15 -0s again, five, six. Go around the pearl like you would do as normally and through the other side, go to the pearl. Then go around because we need to add the 11 o's again. So pick one 11 o when you're at the proper spot. Go through there. And continue to get to the other side I'm there so one more 11 -0. and I'm going around to the place here this is the point where you will add the double right angle weave stitch and continue and we will be connecting the pearls as we go so we have a nice connected uh, two rows of pearls for the bracelet so the double right angle weave part on this uh, on this point we will do when we return with the third row. It will be easier, I think, than to you can you can actually do it. You can go around again, add a double right angle weave, and go back again. But I personally prefer it to do it later. So now we will continue here alongside the bracelet and go back. So do I'm doing the double right angle weave again so I will turn it like this so you can see it better adding four 11 o's and doing the usual stuff so adding one bead second bead and a third bead and then I will return to the tip again like this and now we need to add the pearl the only thing that will change uh, compared to this part is that the 11 -0 here will be shared so you don't have to, um, so you can't forget that you will be adding only one and the second one will be shared. So I will now do the stuff with the 15 o's and then I will show you how to connect the pearls. So we don't forget that we can add the second 11 o. Uh, so now I did the 15 o's around, I added the outside 11 o. So now when I was supposed to add an 11 -0 here, I will pick up the one that is in the other pearl and like this, I will use it and get to the 11 -0 in the tip and from there you will do 
this part again and continue alongside the bracelet adding the pearls until you reach the other end there we will turn again and do the third row and then we will have to pick a clasp so to show you the progress I made I reached the other end there I made the double rind angle weave part here I turned like we did here nothing new I immediately made the double right angle weave part here as well so we are done and it kind of makes sense because we won't be exactly going back of course you can make fourth row you can make five you can go wild but I went for three <laughs> that's wide enough for me so I am going back now here I am at the second pearl I will make the rest and then we will add the clasp and uh, that will be it I would recommend if you have longer wrist I was kind of like contemplating on that I have kind of uh, thin hands so I went for nine pearls in a row but for most people I think 10 pearls will be more safe safer so you will need 30 pearls in total which is kind of still okay so let's go on the other side and then again we will catch up I reached the other side also in the last row as you can see I uh, circled around after I added the last piece I circled around through the 50 nose and got here when where we were missing the last double right angle weave stitch part I added it there and at this point we are ready to add the clasp so when your uh, beadwork looks like this and it's ready let's do it and I am back so as the time progressed I was thinking which clasp to add to this bracelet and then I thought hey let's make one and let's not use anything else let's not use any metal and just do it purely from beads so that's what I have done so I have already created uh, two rows of clasps and are now at the third one I will show you how to do that so I use the pearls and the seed beads like for the rest of the bracelet and I think it's pretty cool so let's do this it is awesome because I have like nine rows so in all together for my tiny wrist I'm using 30 pearls I will measure everything and give the size measurements for you so you can adjust it to your size and you will know how many pearls you will need so let's do the third row to add the clasp you need to start from the 11 0 right here at the tip so we will do the base uh, now pick two 15 0s then pick two 11 0s then you add the pearl then you add three 11 o's and we will go back let's skip the three 11 o's here at the end and go down through the pearl and the two 11 o's right beneath it so there's no uh, thread showing and add two more 15 o's and go back to the starting 11 o from the other side so like this let's go through everything one more time so through this two starting 11 o's 11, oh, sorry 15 o's then the 11 o's the pro the three 11 o's at the top you can use only one I use three for the embellished touch go down the pro down through the two 15 o's and uh, oops two 11 o's then the two 15 o's I'm mixing up the sizes and we are here now don't go through the 11 o at the top but instead pick three 15 o's 
and go to the 11 on the side which you are at that will create like a better base for the clasp and then we need to go here to the other side so go through the 11 o's in the double right angle weave stitch part and get to the 11 o on the other side pick three more 15 o's and then go to the two 15 o's here which means now we can strengthen one more time the whole loop so once more I'm going through the 11 o's pearl 11 o's and right back and there you can continue and circle around the pearls through the beads and you need to get uh, further here to the next tip so you can do the second row which I already have done so all I will do is finish at the knot and cut the thread so I'm going down as you will so what you will do I will show you so now when you want to get here you need to circle through the beads around so the thread is not showing around 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 you probably will come back here and then through here you will get to the tip here where you will repeat what we just did then again you will go down circle around the beads and come back here and do the third row and there you will not of somewhere the thread which I will do somewhere here around the beads I can't do it right here because I already have a knot here <laughs> but I will find another place knot it off hide a thread cut and let's go back oh sorry let's move forward actually to the other side and there we will create a loop for the third three pearls we have here on this side and here on the other side we will have similar base but instead of the pearl we will have the loop ready for the pearl so we will start the same from the tip of the double right angle weave part we will add again two 15 o's then only one 11 o and then two 15 o's again immediately so i have five beads now i will go to the tip from the other side from where i have started and like this so now i will go up through the two 15 o's and the one 11 o in the middle now pull tight so there's no thread showing and now we need to add 20 11 o's I counted that as enough for my loop so it's tight enough and there's some uh, extra space for when the thread of the loop is actually uh, it gets loosened up during time so I counted that in so I have 15 now I should have 20 so including this one here we will, we will have loop of 21 so that's why I'm picking only 20 yes I have 20 beads and now I am going through the 11 o here from the other side and pull now go through the loop once more to strengthen it and now we will create the rest of the base so I returned back to the 11 o here 
I will go down through the two 15 holes, pick three more 15 holes, and like before, I'm going through the 11 hole here on the side. Then circling through the 11 holes at the bottom to get to the other side. Just like we did before with the pearl part. And I'm there on the other side in the 11 hole. And there I will pick three 15 holes again. So three. And going up to the two 15 holes on this side. And then I will repeat what I did before. So I will strengthen the loop one more time. So to have three threads inside of the beads. So one more time. It will be quite snug, I must say, because I pull tight quite a lot. But I also know that these threads will, these fabric threads like milky thread and other ones, they might loosen up after time when after the bracelet is worn. So I don't want the loop to get too loose. So you would lose <laughs> the bracelet. Okay. And I'm there. So I'm back here. Like I did on the other side, I will find a spot where I know of my thread because this was my third loop. But it will be your first loop for you. So go down, circle through your beads, and you can also use the holes in the in the in the pearls if it helps you to get on the other side. So you don't get to uh, you don't have to get only through the seed beads. Just you can use the holes uh, because it will make it shorter for you. Most of the pearls should had should have the holes like this across. For me, as I was testing and preparing design on this side, I have them uh, 90 degrees angle the, the other way, but that's okay. <laughs> so also use the pearls and get again for the second loop to this spot to add the second loop. And I will show you how to close it so it works as a proof. So now, as I said, it's a bit snug. Just don't pull too much. So like this, use the loop as a closure and that's it. So after this, after knotting on the thread, I think we have a pretty nice bracelet and quite addictive, I must say. Thank you very much for watching my Cup of Pearls bracelet tutorial. I hope you had fun and you uh, enjoyed making this uh, seed bead and check pearl gem, which is uh, easy to uh, change. You can change the design, make two, one, four, even more rows, depends up to you. You can match it with my Cup of uh, Pearls earrings. So if you need something matching, don't forget to visit our YouTube or our sites and find the link as you can do if you need any of the materials. And I will be looking forward to, to seeing your pictures in our beading and jewelry making group on Facebook and see you in the next one.